Hey guys, so in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make an online tutoring account on Preply. Now, online tutoring, in my opinion, is one of the best side hustles, especially if you want a very flexible schedule that still pays a lot hourly. In my opinion, Preply is one of the best online tutoring platforms. And I'll show you guys how to set up an account in just a few minutes. So if you guys use the link down below, it's going to take you to this exact page. And guys, the whole sign-up process is extremely fast and easy. So there's three different ways you guys can actually create an account. One, just through your email, or you can sign up through your Facebook account, or your Google account. So just for this video, I'll show you guys how to set it up with your email, but it's the same exact process whether or not you use Facebook, Google, or your email. So I'll enter in my email right here and then create a password. Okay, so now it's gonna ask you some information about yourself. And the first thing is your first name, last name. We'll select our country of origin. So that for me is gonna be the United States, but we'll select accordingly to where you guys live. Now it's gonna have us enter in the languages that we speak, right? So this is an awesome platform, especially if you wanna tutor other people in different languages that you know. So we'll select our languages spoken, English is pre-populated. We'll select our level, A1 from the most basic to native, which is the most advanced. And yeah, if you guys want a better description of what each of these levels is we'll have that in the description down below so also like native for english we can add another language i'm going to choose chinese choose my level let's just say b1 and also choose french b1 as well okay so now let's enter in the subjects that we are going to teach so let's say we want to teach english i'll select that and i'm going to describe my teaching experience right so it's going to have me select i have formal teaching experience I've taught in an informal setting or none of the above. So I'll select this one, describe your current situation. I have another teaching job. I have another non-teaching job. I'm a student. I have other commitments. I have no other commitments. Just answer the question truthfully, you guys, and I'll select this one. And then you can enter in your phone number. After that, I'll select to confirm that I'm over 18 years old and click next. Okay, so now it's gonna have you upload a profile photo. You can upload either a JPEG or a PNG and the maximum file size is five megabytes. So I'll click upload photo right here and we'll select our headshot right here. It's gonna have me crop this if I want. So I'll select it like that. I can zoom in or out. And yeah, as you guys can see, you do want your face relatively large so that it is visible to other people. You don't want a picture that is too zoomed out. After that, I'll click next. Now it's gonna ask me if I have any teaching certifications. So yeah, this is really going to depend on you yourself watching this video, whether or not you have any teaching certifications. If you don't, it's totally okay. But if you do, I definitely would recommend putting them right here. So just to show you guys, if I were to be teaching English, I can select from these certificates right here. You can see Preply even has their own teaching certificate that you can enter or you can select other but let's just select this one for now. We'll select our years of study. So let's say 2018 until 2022. And if you want a certificate verified badge, you'll want to upload the actual certificate that you got. Again, not necessary, but if you guys have it, I would recommend doing that. You can always add more certificates if you have them, or if you don't have any teaching certification yet, you guys can always check mark this box. Now I'll click next. Now it's gonna ask you about your education, right? So first is which university did you go to? And of course, if you don't have a higher education degree, you can scroll down down here and check that but I'm going to enter in my college UCLA my degree degree type enter in my specialization years of study and then if you want a diploma verified badge you guys can upload your diploma here if you want to add additional education you guys can do that as well but now I'll click next now it's going to ask us to create our profile and this part is very very important basically you're going to want a very good title because that along with your picture is what people are going to see so we can create something like certified English teacher with let's say four years experience feel free to customize this however you'd like and then you're going to write a brief picture paragraph about yourself and tell potential clients, you know, what your interests are just so they can get to know you better. Great. So now that I have that written, I'm going to come down here. It's going to have you describe your teaching experience, certification, and methodology. So yeah, the three things you're going to want to have here is of course, you know, how many years you've taught for, what if any certifications you have, as well as your teaching style. So obviously I wrote something here, but you guys are going to want to put in a little bit more detail. Feel free to take at least a few minutes to write this. That's going to have you write a message to actually get students to book a trial lesson with you. Of course, obviously write something a little bit better than this. But yeah, we'll go ahead and click next. Now we're in the section where it's going to have you create a video introduction. So I'm gonna click test camera right here and it should bring up this page. And as you guys can see, it's gonna tell you all the different rules when it comes to creating your video. What I recommend doing is using your phone to film this video. Keep it between 30 seconds to two minutes long. We don't want it too long, but we also don't want it too short. And guys, most importantly, it does need to be a horizontal video. After that, you guys can upload it directly to this page by clicking upload video, or you can upload it directly to YouTube 
YouTube or Vimeo, and you'll be able to paste in the link right here. So for now, I'm gonna click upload video, and I have my video ready right here. I do believe you can also record this video straight from your webcam, but I prefer to use one that I uh, filmed before. And then if you do want to create a thumbnail for this video, just so that it's a little bit more appealing looking, then you guys can upload that as well. Now I'll click next right here. After that, it's going to have us set our availability. So first we're gonna choose our time zone. It's going to automatically find this. So just make sure this looks correct. And if it is, you can click yes. And here we're going to set our schedule for tutoring. First, you'll want to select the different days you are available. So let's say I don't want to tutor on Sundays. I can uncheck that. And let's also say we don't want to tutor on Thursdays or Wednesdays. So now we have Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. But of course, do this so that it matches your schedule. And we'll select the times that we are available. Let's say we're free from 9 a.m. to noon. But we're also available from 2 p.m. until say 5 p.m., right? So 14 to 17 o'clock. You guys can always click the plus to add more time frames. And yeah, just go ahead and make the selections and then click next. Now you're gonna set your hourly base rate. It's going to have a recommended price for you. And this is gonna be quite low since you are a new tutor. What I recommend doing is start a little bit lower. Once you get your first one or two reviews, you can drastically increase your price. Let's say for me, I wanna start with $15 USD per hour. And here you guys can look at the different prep, the commission fees. So yeah, feel free to look through that. And as you guys can see, the more you guys teach, the lower the commission is. Super, super worth it because there's so many students on Preply looking for tutors and it's just one of the best places to tutor online. So now we'll click next. It's gonna ask if you want to join the discount program. You can offer discounts based on the student's subscription plan. This is not mandatory, but it definitely can help with your conversions to getting actual clients. So it's really up to you if you guys want to do this. And of course you can choose it, but change it at any time in the future. So for now, I'm just not gonna select that and we'll click complete registration. So now it says that our application has been successfully submitted and then within X business days, you will get an email with your application status. And once that is submitted, you'll see yourself here when people actually are looking for lessons and your profile will look something like this, right? So let's say I want to check out this person's profile. They have their picture, they have their video introduction, more about the tutor schedule, as well as the different reviews that they've gotten. So yeah, that's basically how you guys set up an online tutoring account on Preply. Again, the link to Preply is gonna be down below. That's gonna take you to the exact page you guys need to get to. Feel free to start there and then follow along with this video as you go through the application process. And if you guys got some value, feel free to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. This whole channel is dedicated to giving you guys free guides and tutorials helping you to start your business. That's it for today and I'll see you in the next video.